You guys might find this surprising, but I actually originally liked the direction Minecraft 1.9 was taking PvP, because I thought, you know, the fact that click speed affects who wins fights, that's completely ridiculous, and block hidden honestly is stupid and needs to be removed. It just doesn't make sense. And you guys might be asking yourself, well, Technoblade, you block it all the time. Why would you block it if you thought it was stupid? And the reason I block it is because having integrity doesn't get me Skywars coins. But Mojang, what were you smoking when you made this update? I mean, look, look at, look at this. Wood Axe, 7 attack damage. Diamond Sword, 7 attack damage. Oh, well, you see, Technoblade, the Wood Axe has a much shorter attack speed than the Diamond Sword, making the Diamond Sword better than a Wood Axe. Listen to yourself try to justify this. It does the same attack damage. No, it's not a better weapon, but it does the same attack damage. Why? This is why I have trouble taking anyone seriously when they try to defend Mojang by saying, well, they were trying to make PvP more realistic. Well, don't mind me, I'm just eating an entire steak while I plummet out of orbit, and now I'm gonna save myself with a water bucket when I hit the ground and take absolutely no damage at all, and then I'm gonna beat up a tree with my bare hands at the start of the game so I can get more resources, and then, oh, would you look at that? The tree floats! But the more I look at the stats, the more I'm starting to think that stone axes are just strictly more useful than diamond swords now. Oh, well, Technoblade, you have to be mistaken here, because the Diamond Sword has a much higher DPS than the Stone Axe. And that's true, but there's more to a weapon than DPS. I mean, for one thing, axes are just stronger against people who have armor, because the higher attack damage you have, the less armor matters. So really, if I was fighting someone with full diamond, it'd be more like the Diamond Sword does 7 attack damage, and the Stone Axe does a bit over 10. But I mean, that's not even the big difference. The big difference is the fact that people, if they have full diamond armor, you can bet they're gonna have a shield. You know how much shields block for? They reduce the damage you take by two thirds. And guess what? There's this thing that disables shields. They're called axes. If you get a sprint hit with an axe, it completely disables their shield for several seconds. And when they get the shield back, they're just gonna sprint hit them again. So yeah, suddenly the stone axe, it's seeming like a better weapon. And I mean, that's just completely ignoring the fact that it's slightly less expensive to make a stone axe than a diamond sword. But I mean, the diamond sword is still a lot better in PvP if you're fighting people who, you know, don't have, don't have shields or don't have a lot of armor. I just, I just have to wonder, why are you killing homeless people? What's wrong with you? And surprisingly enough, I don't actually, like, care about attack cooldown, whatever, I'll adjust. I do want to make fun of the people defending it, though, by saying, oh, well, you see, attack cooldown, it adds strategy to the game. Like, strategy? What strategy? You click on people to hit them with your Lego sword. Quit pretending this is chess. And don't even get me started on the amount of people yelling spam clicker whenever you disagree with the 1.9 combat change. Like seriously, calling someone a spam clicker is like the easiest way to announce to everyone in earshot, hey guys, I had no idea how to PvP before and I like this update because now no one else knows either. I haven't even mentioned their healing system. Let me just fall off a giant platform and lose six hearts. I'm just gonna eat a steak. And since the healing system is based on saturation, I'm gonna gain all of my health back almost instantly. Whose idea was this? And Mojang decided that armor calculations weren't difficult enough already, so they added a third variable. Now you need to account for armor bars, enchantment levels, and attack damage of your enemy's weapon. Why? How am I supposed to balance Blitz when Mojang makes Stone Axe is the best weapon in the game and armor calculations require a PhD to understand? Oh, and by the way, I did the math for you already. A Sharpness 1 Stone Axe, which used to kill unarmored people in 4 hits, can now kill a full Diamond Man in 5 hits. And I especially like the people like, oh, well, Technoblade, you see, added in all of these uh, potion arrows. It really adds another dimension to PvP. Because, you know, there's going to be so many times where I see my teammate, like, you know, half the map away. And I'm like, I'll save you, teammate, and I fire an arrow off into the distance. And he gets hit by it, and he has, he has strength, too, for, like, 11 seconds, and, and that wins the fight. Although, don't worry, guys, there's actually one special arrow that makes sense, the arrow of healing, because you see the arrow of healing, you can keep 64 of it in one slot in your inventory. That's a ton of healing for just one spot. Just watch, you can just, you can just heal yourself with an arrow. Oh, wait, they don't work. But, I mean, it's not like people are going to be using bows anymore, because, you know, shields block, uh, you know, 100% uh, of projectile damage and, and knock back if you right-click whenever you see the really noticeable arrow flying towards you. And, I mean, sure, they made it so you can't craft super gold apples, but, I mean, whatever. I honestly, I honestly don't care about 1.9. I just made this video because I thought my fans would like it. And also because I'm, I'm kind of desperate for subscribers. If you could please subscribe so I can pretend I'm relevant, that would be amazing. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Wait a minute. Oh my god, this is the greatest update of all time. This is amazing. This update sucks.